is escaping me, etc. Uh, to, our, to our right over here, we have the uh, stove set up. Basically, what we have is just to explain to you, many fires do occur in the home, uh, and fire safety is paramount, especially when you're home and you're cooking, especially around the holidays, uh, to ensure that you have a fire safe experience when you're celebrating the holidays as we approach Thanksgiving, the religious holidays that are we're in the middle of right now. If you have a fire in your home and you see that pot there, we're not going to light a fire today, it's much of everyone's uh, chagrin. Uh, but uh, if you had a fire on your stovetop, uh, the best thing to do is try to use the cover. You see here on the uh, stove, lift the cover off, the fire is burning in there, put the cover back on. If the uh, fire goes out, great, you've done a wonderful job. Uh, do not recheck in a minute. Give it a couple of minutes to make sure that fire is completely extinguished. If for some reason that fire on your stove spreads and you have a portable fire extinguisher, use it like a first aid device, like a band-aid on a cut. If that fire does not go out immediately, do not spend countless time and precious minutes trying to put that fire out. Call your local fire department, they'll respond immediately, get yourself, your loved ones, your children, your pets, and get everybody out of the house. Wait at that meeting place that we always talk about and ensure that you're safe. The house and its possessions can be replaced. Your family, your children, your pets cannot be replaced. So get out there, stay outside, let the fire department do its job, and hopefully they'll contain that fire to your kitchen detectors it's not just a luxury it's a requirement it's the law make sure you have working smoke detectors working carbon monoxide detectors in every home where anyone sleeps they have 10 year sealed battery units that are the law of the land right now uh, so you don't have to worry about those pesky batteries going off once a year and worried about changing batteries so make sure you get those smoke detectors installed make sure as the county executive said they work 327 fires 73 operating smoke detectors uh, we're in the 21st century we have a long way to go but hopefully this will be the week that we start reminding everybody and you take this all the way in all the way in so thank you very much again and uh we'll turn it over to alana for some more uh, notes thank you
educating and securing the history of the fire service. So today we are here uh, not only to celebrate fire prevention and remind everyone to check their smoke detectors and, and keep safe while cooking um, and provide different tips uh, of staying safe, but we're also here uh, to unveil uh, the Nassau County Firefighters Museum and Education Center uh, sock that will be sold not only here at the museum gift shop, but it will be sold online at johnscrazysocks.com. And uh, I want to thank John and Mark and their team at John's Crazy Socks. Um, they've uh, really interacted with so many throughout the world. They've uh, touched the hearts of former presidents, of uh, kings and queens, uh, and many others. And the fact that they've chosen uh, to commit themselves to the Nassau County Firefighters Museum and Education Center means the world to us. So, John, Mark, uh, on behalf of everybody here at the museum, we thank you for your generosity, we thank you for your creativity, and we thank you for being you. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll turn it over to John Cronin uh, to unveil uh, the Nassau County Firefighters Museum sock.